So Charlie just needs to give his wits about him here. He's got others in here who are going to be really hard to, in terms of uh, fast finishing. Uh, Manangoy of Kenya is in there. Maybe he come up finally. He's just uh, gone to the front. Didn't particularly run well in that one. A former Kenyan as well, Surai, running for Bahrain. But Ben Shear of Morocco, the Moroccans. Although he's not a name or anything, you start looking at people like him. And, and Lusa, who can finish very, very quickly. Kronia, the South African, also a fast finisher. Uh, so there's danger in tactical races because everybody can finish quick over the last six, seven hundred meters. So what Charlie can't do, Brett, is give people a chance to get the first lap for free. Oh, you know, you get that one for free, but after that, you've got to look for a position. He's got to look for a position. He's got to make some decisions. Six to go through, and then the six fastest losers. A very simple and, and easy opening there. So they're not doing anything very, very quickly yet. And he's got some decisions to make. And he's got decisions to make every couple of hundred meters. He's got to make some of the right ones because there are some athletes here in the field. And in the, if you look at the times over the season, he's seven, seven of them have run faster than Charlie Grace. So he knows he's got a big task. And if you look at look Centrovitz there and the red vest, the American positioning himself neatly there, looking the, put, putting himself, looking across immediately, see if anything's happening outside. And now Charlie Grace decides time to move out a little. He moves out a bit onto the outside. Now he's got a vision, and that's a sensible move. Just ahead of him there is the Olympic champion, McCloopy. And I think if he sticks fairly close to McCloopy, he'll be okay. He's now putting himself in a better position. He's got to spend this next lap getting himself ready so that he's there at that sort of position like a bell. Exactly right. I think Charlie sometimes has spent too much energy doing that in the past. He's done it really well here. First lap, just took it easy, and now he's in a good place. Two laps to go, and now he's got to hold that. He uh, went past his mate Centrovitz, and there's McCluffy moving up around the outside, but Charlie just needs to hold that. You can see Centrovitz now hovering out. Charlie could do with getting outside, what I'd say, get outside the legs of McCluffy if you like. So it's just picking up a little bit. Manangoy at the front, then his Pacheer of Djibouti. Then McCluffy, Centrovitz, uh, and uh, Charlie just needs to be careful here. Don't go back inside from that point. You want to give yourself room. Give yourself the opportunity to attack. The, the tendency is always wanting to go back in at this point. But that Charlie's just got to be wall. careful. Maybe give Centrovitz a little bit of a nudge to them. They're not in Japan to get out Centrovitz. So we're going to finish up. It's a part. Know each other well. Do a few little workouts and runs together. And now Charlie's got to look for a little bit of room here. The Olympic Thank champion McClubby twice in a beautiful position on the outside. This is the first round. The semi-final is tomorrow. And this is a run that now... Charlie Grice is in the worst position now than he was a lap ago. He's got to spend his time now, work himself out of this bad position, work himself into a decent position, and then get himself gathered. He's got to finish in the first six. He's running strongly. We don't want him to go through the middle and cause himself any problems. And he's diving and jumping and doing exactly what I said he shouldn't be doing. However, McCluffy has got no problem there, and Charlie has fortunately got himself there. He has to just keep the running going now. He has the pace to get himself out, but did he just use a little bit too much energy there? He's still in the top qualifying position, top six, let's not forget. Lelusa's going to finish quickly down the home straight. Centrovitz looks a little bit laboured, has a look across. The top two moving away, McCluffy there. And Charlie's got to stay strong, they're coming from all over the place. Lelusa there, well on the inside, and it's going to be tight on the line, but Charlie should be okay. He's got to keep going through. Centrovitz will get third. Lelusa, sorry, the Moroccan on the inside. Lelusa run out of it. Kronje in there. Charlie Grice gets through. Well, one or two people not getting through. Charlie got himself in a little bit of a difficult position, but